In sumo, size does matter. There are techniques and skills that need to be mastered, but there's no doubt bigger is better. To get it on and keep it on, sumos eat two massive meals a day. Each includes three bowls of stew, five bowls of rice, tempura, noodles and several side dishes. The sumos might be big, but when it comes to eating, they're lightweights compared to this man. Takaru Kobayashi is Japan's king of conspicuous consumption. The tsunami, as he's known, only weighs 60 kilograms, one third of what some of the sumos do, but inviting him to dinner could be a very costly mistake. At a recent competition in New York, he devoured 50 and a half hot dogs in just 12 minutes, setting a world record and leaving much bigger competitors wallowing in his wake. In Japan, food is taken very seriously, almost to the point of obsession. There are 200,000 restaurants and cafes here in Tokyo alone. And Japanese television is dominated by cooking shows. They're not the standard how to cook chicken surprise variety either. Many of them turn food into sport. Some of the most popular programs feature gladiators who eat as much as they can, as fast as they can. To these guys, gluttony isn't a deadly sin, it's a passport to fame and wealth. And that's where the tsunami comes into his own. He's a professional food fighter. For this man, food is something to be destroyed, not enjoyed. He spends several days a week in the gym, building up the muscles that help him eat. Today, the tsunami is training for the next big TV tournament. The workout doesn't end there. Kobayashi spends hours carefully honing his drinking techniques. The grip, the angle of the bottle, the breathing, all must be just right. Practicing pigging out can be very expensive, so the tsunami likes to frequent all-you-can-eat restaurants. The problem is that not many of them will let him in. Tonight, though, we're in luck. Eyebrows are raised when Kobayashi places his order. Any distractions are removed so the master can focus on his work. Then it's down to business. This guy gives the expression, fast food, a whole new meaning. One hundred and fifty pieces of sushi later, the training run comes to an end. Food Battle Club! Let's be!
落ち着いてここでしっかりったらダメだ自分が思っている以上に早いですからねそうですね100 food fighters begin the competition but in the early rounds all are swamped by the tsunami Dozens of cooks work feverishly behind the scenes to keep the food coming. Doctors are on standby in case anyone bites off more than they can chew. No such worries for Kobayashi san, though. He gets through to the final with an intimidating display of power eating. Kobayashi san plows through the strawberries. But when it comes to the dim sims, he makes a crucial tactical error, using chopsticks rather than a fork. An upset stomach is always a possibility in a gluttony contest, but until now, an upset win had been unthinkable. But the tsunami is a glutton for punishment, and he vows to redouble his efforts for the next competition. Kobayashi, yes. Ah, tsunami san. Zangnen, uh, deshita ne, da jobu desu ka? So, ne. Ah, so, zangnen na desu. Kadai ga mata dekita ne. In the meantime, he and his entourage are off to discuss what went wrong over dinner.